number 61 says that there's a car that completes one lap in 14.3 seconds around a circular track with a radius of this. So there's a, a circular track and I've got a car going around it. Its mass is 615 kilograms. Uh, the time that it takes is 14.3 seconds and it has a radius of 50 meters. Um, what is the acceleration of the car? Well, the centripetal acceleration is v squared over r. So, uh, velocity is just distance divided by time. So, the distance that this thing goes is 2 pi times the radius 50. And the time it takes is 14.3 seconds. So, I'm going to square that whole quantity and divide by the radius, which is again 50.0. So, when I do that, I come out uh, to 9.59 meters per second squared. And that's part A. Part B asks, uh, what, must the, what force must the track exert to produce this? So the centripetal force is mass times the centripetal acceleration. So the mass of the car is 615 kilograms and the centripetal acceleration is 9.59. So if you take 9.59 times 615, you end up with uh, 5.90 times 10 to the third newtons.